Welcome to my channel, Jedi Dragon. Please be sure to have the Force with you at all times by subscribing and liking and sharing my videos. It helps out a lot. Coming to theaters December 15th, The Last Jedi, Star Wars Episode 8. And I am the main guy on YouTube to talk about Star Wars. I wish I was, but okay, down to it. So this is part two of the Force Friday 2017 haul, and man am I excited. Like I said, I explained in my first part, uh, first video, this was a great haul, and I am thrilled to have picked these up. So let's get down to it. I've already opened my Darth Vader 40th anniversary. So, yeah, that's done. Uh, already out of the box for me. So, let's get down to it. Shall we? Okay. So. <clears throat> Now, this cloth cape, now, this I really like. The fabric is not cheap. It is actually, it's it's like a thin, like, it's a thick, like, actually, like, you can pose it. Like, it, it's not poseable, like, it doesn't have a wire in it or nothing, which I wish it kind of would. But, at any rate, um, it's like a cross between, like, a silk and a really soft fabric, like a microfiber cloth. So, yeah, it's, uh, you can't see it too well on my crappy uh, uh, 720p uh, video camera on my phone. Yeah, I'm using an Android, so it sucks. Hopefully getting the camera soon. Oh my god, guys, this is so awesome. This is the 40th anniversary repackaged into Wave 12 of the Black Series. And you got many points, many points of articulation here. And I love the detail they put into this. So cool. I like the shininess underneath the helmet. Very, very much like A New Hope. Which I'm thinking they kind of mixed the Rogue One look with the New Hope look. And I really like it. Um, there's like a lot of detail like on the belt as you see. The red and green lights. The cod piece uh, looks like leather but it's not. And the detail like oh man they put into his suit. I'm telling you very impressed. I'm so glad I picked up Vader. Like, I'm not even kidding. The waist does move back and forth. The torso, well, the whole torso does. But, very limited. Very limited. Also, this leg, the, it goes up and down. The rocker uh, ball joint. It's kind of loose, which I'm picky about. Uh... The left leg, not so much, but it is kind of loose, which would be difficult for it to be posed, so I'm going to have to make sure that I make like some kind of platform to put, like, uh, as you see, you can put pegs, you know, through, and it's with all black series, you can put pegs through the feet. Um, if you guys know of any place I can get uh, peg stands for figures to display them. Please let me know. Please let me know in the comment section down below, or I will force choke you. Oh, love the detail on the lightsaber. Oh man. And Hasbro, if you're listening, okay. This is what I have a big. This is my biggest gripe with the Black Series. See that notch? See that notch? The lightsaber goes 
underneath the plastic in between these two notches I do not like that because when you go to pull it out what sometimes happens is the lightsaber will bend on the blade and I do not like bendy lightsabers that are not flat now if you're if this does happen to you there's a trick I learned if you um, take a hair dryer to it and just like you know maybe like a foot away set it on medium you don't have to put it on high just set it on medium about a foot away probably about uh, this is a chair so at arm's length pretty much arm's length so arm's length away from your torso uh, hold the hair dryer up like cockeyed by your head and just you know hold this out you know just arm's length that's fine and then you set it down and it'll straighten out right away let it sit for about five minutes to cool down it, it, like it's not going to be hot or nothing but all right now i'm going to review yeah i'm going to do review on every black series just so you guys know i'm sorry but i haven't uploaded in a while uh, I have issues with my phone and recording videos because I want to have a nice video camera to do my videos and it really bugs me that I'm using my phone. Like I do not like the video quality and audio quality whatsoever. I mean, I am highly disappointed with it. So, I mean, it's really a matter of having the means to get the video camera I want so probably pick up the $65 one I seen at Walmart um, if you guys know of any cheap but not too cheap not too expensive video cameras let me know in the comment section down below in the great wide void and please be sure to like subscribe and share my videos and share the love of Star Wars with everyone fans common fans, casual fans alike. So let's get to it, shall we? You have... Alright, the lightsaber. <laughs> My favorite... Part. Well, uh, second favorite. Most favorite would be Vader, of course. But man, oh man, did they really go out of their way and knocked it out of the park. With the detail on this hilt... It's so amazing. And they used the perfect shade of red. It's not too pinkish like some of their other ones. And it's not too dark. <coughs> I've seen ones that are actually orangish, like from the 90s. And it looks so crappy. Like they really don't know how to. Um, they really didn't. Like they were just like experimenting with it. Uh, the ones from the 70s and 80s actually had like the lightsabers in their arms and you pull it out so it extended and it was a solid color like not not translucent like this it's it used to be really crappy and they looked crappy but hey if you're a vintage collector you'll like the older figures I have a couple of them myself but not in too good condition my friend actually gave them to me if not for that I wouldn't have any so I used to collect all 3.75 inch figures, which most of my figures are 3.75. But let's get to the 6 inch, shall we? Vader. Man, did they do a good sculpt on this guy. You have the usual, like I said, I love the material and the fabric they use for the cape. All right, you have your usual up and down movement, and just like maybe a centimeter of up and down so don't get too proud um, of the technological terror you constructed no Vader what I was gonna say was don't get too proud of trying to pose you in certain ways you have failed me for the last time Jedi Dragon Okay, you know what? I'm gonna set you down if you're gonna if you're gonna keep running your mouth. 
<laughs> All right, back to it. Sorry about Darth Vader uh, getting a little cocky with me. <laughs> I love this. Double jointed knees. Man, and I love the detail. Like like this, like down here is actually shiny. Uh, I noticed some figures, like it's just a matte black and not shiny, but you know, uh, the helmet is perfectly sculpted. I mean, oh my god, that is a perfect helmet. Seriously, the eyes could be a little bit more red, I wouldn't mind, but yeah. Okay, bendable elbows, twistable hands. Also, it rocks side to side, which I would like this hand since it's the lightsaber grip hand. I would like it better if it if it was articulated for the hand to go up and down. But you don't get that. You get this. So, then you got up and down movement from the shoulder and 360 degree turning. Uh, you can't turn too because of his elbow pads or um, shoulder pads. Not too much range of movement up on the upper torso or lower torso because, like I said, the waist turns, but then the cloth gets in the way. And like I said earlier about the torso, you can, it's, it rocks like I can't do it with one hand, but it barely, barely, barely moves by hair. And you really got to try to play with it, which I don't want to. I don't want to move the torso anyway. I'm comfortable where it is. He's straight up and down, so mainly I'm worried about posing his legs and arms. And I like this force hand right here. Man, did they do a good detailed job on him. Same thing over here with the hand, too. Uh, side to side, which, wait a minute, yeah. Yeah, it's side to side. Then you get 360 degree motion, turning. So good articulation there. Elbows bend of course up and down like I said with the shoulder movement it's not really too much but it it's it's you know you can get good range of motion and posing out of it but not too much like other figures and uh, right here at the thighs like I said this legs kind of loose which I don't like this like the thigh turns but it's like really hard it's really really tight the knees, I already mentioned that, double jointed knees. Uh, you got rocker on the ankles, forward and back motion. It rocks side to side. And that's it. That's about it for Darth Vader. Repackaging of 40th anniversary Black Series. He is number 43. And gives it a little description about Vader, basically how I became Darth Vader and worked for the Empire. Um, next up is Grand Admiral Thrawn, and that would have to be... I didn't know I'd have to make so many parts to this Force Friday haul, but there's so much stuff for me to review today. I got a complete Season 3 Blu-ray of Rebels, which I'm going to review soon too in another video, but that's another topic on itself meanwhile I'm gonna have a can of pop that looks like Mountain Dew but it's really not because I'm not sponsored by them so I can't really show the label but it's a green can of pop and it tastes really good it's like Mountain Dew so I'm gonna have a drink of that anyways uh, thanks for watching guys uh, you know, you know what to do. Share, like, comment, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. May the force be with y'all. Peace.